today i will show how to create a vpc in aws using terraform so for creating vpc we need below files yeah net.tf provider.tf was.tf version.tf and vpc.tf so provider.tf and version.tf is same as it was used earlier you can look it you can have a look on it in provider.tf we are saying that a region is basically in aws in provider.tf we will use a aws region and here in was.tf we have defined the default region that is the episode so in version.tf we are staying we are saying that uh, we, we we will use the terra point 0.12 so far so remember uh, this code is for the terra form 0.12 now we have a look on the vpc tf okay so for creating vpc we need a resource at aws underscore vpc and give the name of main so you can give your name and we will define the cidr block it depends on the how big your infrastructure going to build so you can define it as slash 16 or slash 24 slash 8 as per your requirement stand tenancy is default it will take default tenancy enable dns support and enable dns host name so basically both should be true because you are you will uh, you are going to use internal dns and the host name and after after that we have tag is you can give uh, tag as per requirement then we will define the subnet so we are you, so we are going to use the three public subnet and three private subnet so these are the public subnet so this is the public subnet first is a main public one main public two and main public three we will define the vpc id so aws underscore vpc dot main dot id so basically the this is the aws dot main the name of uh, vpc you have defined then its id so the submit will be created in this vpc then uh, define the cidr block for all the public subnet that is 10.0.1.0 slash 24 slash 20 so basically the, uh, we have taken the slash 24 cidr block you can take as per your requirement my public ip on it ip on launch so basically uh, uh, these are the public subnet so uh, we will map the public ip with the instances we, we are going to launch in public subnet and the availability zone ap south 1a ap south 1b ap south 1c so basically in that region there are three availability zones so uh, in uh, in each availability zone there will be one subnet one public subnet after that we will define the uh, private subnet so there are also the three private subnet in each availability zone same vpc id cidr block given and uh, so here it, you need to remember that it is a private subnet you are going to uh, uh, provision uh, your databases or some uh, some institutions which not going to be exposed publicly so that why you have um, uh, you have given the map public ip on launch false it uh, in these instances don't require the public ip then you need to define the internet gateway so resource aws internet gateway you have given the name of gateway and it will be you it will be created in this vpc id you have you are going to create then route table so this is the main public route table it will be created in this vpc id cidr block one that means key all the traffic going to public internet the gateway id is this so all the instances in the public subnet will will have access to the internet so that's why the uh, internet gateway that was that's why the route table is we will create the route table according to this now you need to associate route table with the subnet on each availability zone so for associating the route table with the public subnet 
we are creating the AWS route table association resource. Then given the name, then submit one, two. There are three public submit. So for all the public submit, we are we need to associate that route table. So in that way, we, we will de, uh, define these things in pub, uh, VPC dot TF. Now you have created a private submit also. And you you need to create a sub, some instances like database or uh, caching uh, anything which you need to which you don't want to expose to the public. But sometimes you need to uh, transfer the log or sometimes some you need to provide some access to uh, uh, maintenance guy or engineer for that those ser servers so that maybe third party. So for that you need to access. From internet to those servers. So for that, we, you cannot ac access them because they are in pub, uh, private subnet. So for that, we will create the NAT gateway. So NAT and uh, we will create the NAT gateway and NAT and uh, associate the NAT gateway with the uh, private subnet. So for uh, creating the NAT gateway, we are using going. We are using we are going to use a NAT.tf. So this is the resource and for NAT gateway uh, we need a public IP uh, for connecting uh, to the public internet for connecting to the internet that's why we are going to use AWS EIP. It will create it, it will this resource will create the uh, elastic IP and BPC equal to true. Now resource AWS NAT gateway allocation ID and then subnet ID, it will be created in public subnet and depends on the AWS Internet Gateway main gateway. Then VPC, then we, uh, we will create the route table, main private route table. CDR blog is this and it's a, it will terminate at Net Gateway. So th that means that through Net Gateway, you can uh, access your private. Uh, instances instance which are in private subnet. Now you need to associate that private subnet with that net gateway. So for this we have to create AWS route table association for all for each private subnet and it will we will give the subnet ID and the route table ID. So in that way the, the net gateway will be created and associated with the private subnet. Now Let's uh, uh, run the Terraform command to uh, create the VPC subnet and uh, NAT gateway. First, we will run the Terraform init. Now, all is fine. Now, we will run the Terraform plan. It will show you are going to create these resources on AWS. Now next uh, next stage is to apply. Now it is creating the first is a EIP net, then VPC main is creating. It will take some time. Now it is creating the subnet, both public and private. It has been completed. Now creating the internet gateway. It associating the route table with the public and private subnet. Uh, you have you, you have to keep patience it will take some time meanwhile you can have a look on console that it is being uh, it is getting created now log into your aws management console click on vpc
Now you can see that it's a main VPC is created, CRI block you have given. Route table, public route, route table has been created. You can see that it has been created. Internet gateway, it has been created and attached. You can also have a look at that a one elastic IP is also created. That will be associated. That will be associated with the net gateway. Now, net gateway is being getting created. It's a pending in state. Just wait for a few minutes. Yeah, you can see that net gateway. Is so, net gateway creation complete. Just refresh it. Yeah, you can see that it is available now. Now you have seen that a private route table is also created. Go to either here route table and you can have a look on the private route table. You can see private route table is associated with the net gate and the public is associated with the internet gateway. So guys, in this way, in this way, you can uh, create the VPC. It's very, very simple. No need to predict. Just you need to careful about the CIDR block for your VPC and for your subnet. You need, as per requirement, as per your company and how many VPC are you going to use? How will they, uh, they will communicate with each, each each other? So that should be keep in mind. Now I'm going to destroy it. So guys, it will take some some time. Yes. Yeah, you can see it is get destroying. Now you have a look. You can have a look on this. You can say that sub uh, route table is deleted. Last tick IP is not deleted yet. Yeah, it is still destroying. So that gateway is getting deleted. It's deleting. So no elastic IP, elastic IP also has been deleted. And gateway is deleted. Internet gateway is also deleted. Now you can see that it's destroyed complete, all the resources have been destroyed. So in that way you can create the VPC as per your requirement. If you want to look at commands. You can go to my blog and check. Uh, we have given the full details of all the files. 